Definitely one of those mornings I'm glad I'm not driving. It looks like to me that there's a bunch of trucks parked on the sidewalk up here. Looks like we'll be cutting through Nike's campus again. It's an awful lot of traffic on this little road though and there's no sidewalks. The only problem with Nike is you really got to be careful. So make sure you make eye contact with cars before you cross the street. It's uh can be sketchy. Wasn't feeling it this morning, so taking my chair down to the train and then down to the gym. Don't want to drive at all. So far I've been glad. The traffic I've passed, people are honking and they're super cranky and everything. And a bunch of the lanes are closed, so this is a little nicer. It's really cold though. I probably should have brought some gloves. It's uh, having trouble holding on to stuff here. I think it means it's cold. Yeah, I came out here to the gym, just got off the train at the uh, Max platform, and a friend called and said he's out in the area and wants to have lunch. He's a guy I know that works for TriMet. So I'm going to hop back on the train now going in the other direction and ride down a few stops and find something to eat. Too bad, I guess, but. Met with a friend, they're uh, starting some new projects and he had a few questions for, um, uses the transit system or the light rail system and also uses a wheelchair. So we went over a few things and got some recommendations and took some photos of some of the stuff on the trains. Hopefully some good will come out of it for me and other people that use the train as well. Got done at the gym, headed back over to the house now. Can't really do too much running around now that I've gone a couple miles down here and back. Actually, I think it's just over a mile. I don't know, something like that, but I can't wait to get another chair. Uh, hopefully it happens soon. The sidewalks are still screwed up, so I'm gonna cut right through Nike. It's a pretty neat looking facility. <laughs> how this chair is basically new. Listen to the sounds it's making. They weren't kidding when they told me this was a terrible chair. It's already starting to make uh, pretty crazy suspension. They have this pathway that goes around the property, and that's what I was planning on using to get out of here, but as you can see, there's a curb. So, I'll have to find some other. Success.
normally the route I'd take to get out of this place is at this light right up here, but all the construction had it blocked off, so bit of a detour. The other problem with having a chair like this one with little tiny batteries is when it starts getting cold outside, the batteries start getting cold. And the smaller the batteries are, uh, the more susceptible they are to temperature. And I can tell this chair is starting to slow down. I still got okay charge, but uh, if you're sitting outside at the pool in the hot tub, uh, we're losing a little bit of output capacity. And that's pretty much it. This chair is dead. If I try to uh, keep using it past this point, other than just going across this park, um, I will definitely get stuck. So, just barely made it back. Gonna plug this thing in and stick the space heater in front of it to get the batteries warm back up and uh, I'll have to use another chair the rest of the day. Got an email a couple days ago saying that Alexa had been refreshed with the latest firmware and operating properly and will be shipped back to me soon. Well, I just got this box. They sent me a brand new one, which is nice because now I'll have two power adapters. Now for the test to see if this is in fact actually a functioning. Maybe the latest about Donald Trump. On Wednesday, Donald Trump debated Hillary Clinton in Las Vegas. Wow, that was concise and to the point. Tell me a joke. I love math. Although you know what seems odd to me? Numbers that aren't divisible by two. I can't tell if that's supposed to be funny or ironic. Alexa's back. I couldn't be happier. 